Right now, I am going to show you how to use the Bissell Spot Clean Pet Pro, also known as the Little Green Pet Pro. This is the upgraded version of the Little Green Machine. It comes in multiple different models. This one is the Spot Clean Pet Pro, but the instruction manual that I received for this also works for the Little Green Pet Pro. So the different models that you'll see online, they vary in price from about $10 uh, difference for each model, and then they come in different colors. The only difference is going to be the head attachments that you get, the actual machine itself, the reservoir, the size, the hose, everything else is identical except for the color of the handles and the head attachments that you get. I got the Spot Clean Pet Pro because it comes with this stain trapper, and I'll go over that more in a little bit, but first let's show you how to actually use the machine here. So in the front here, you have the dirty tank. So once you're using the machine, when you're sucking up the water, this is where all the dirty water will go. It's nice because it just pulls right out of there and it does stay upright so you can set it down. To unlock it, to pour out your dirty water, you just rotate the handle all the way back. Then this top headpiece will release and then you can dump your dirty water out. This plastic piece right here is basically a gauge. Once it fills up and your wa dirty water tank gets to a certain level, this will automatically kick off the machine so you can't suck up any more water. So once the handle is all the way locked again, you can go ahead and put it back into the machine. A quick note is that you do have a filter here. If you have any problems with suction, make sure that this is clean. I recommend cleaning it every time you use the machine. Just simply wipe your fingers to clean it off or use a napkin, paper towel, just quickly wipe that off to keep that filter clean. And then here we go. So let's go ahead and put that back in place. Now on the back of the machine here, is where you have your clean water reservoir. Very simple again, just pulls right out. All right, it does have a handle here for convenience carrying. You can flip the tank over here and this is where you will actually fill the tank. The tank can be filled with hot tap water. Do not use boiling water, but as hot as the water can come out of your tap, you can use in the machine here. How much solution do you use? All right, so you've got your fill lines here, so you'll want to fill the water up to this line. And then Bissell recommends two ounces of the formula. All of their products come with a little size of their formula. You can also buy bigger ones. This is the one that it came with. So when we get to use this machine, we'll fill it up here to the fill line with hot water, add the two ounces of formula. Then you just screw the lid back on here and put it back in place. Now you'll notice this hose here, that hose is just to allow flow of water, right? So this needs to be above any water. So if you filled it up too high and this isn't above the water, you might have a problem with getting water to come out of the machine. So here you have the hose. I like this design here because it's nice and compact. The hose wraps around the machine here. So you've got a couple feet of hose to work with. Now here you have the head of the machine and this is where you attach all of your different accessories that come with the machine here. So this is the standard one that comes with every machine. It's got your bristles to agitate. It's got the spray nozzle here. So on this head attachment, you'll want to line it up correctly to where this nozzle goes into the hole of the head attachment here and it will click into place. On the top here you have the release button and then here is the trigger. Once you pull this trigger the water will squirt out of this nozzle here. So what you'll do is you'll aim that at your stain, you'll pull the trigger, squirt the water, then you will agitate that spot and suck up all of the excess water in through the machine. Now there has been a lot of questions about how to clean this, this headpiece and does this plastic piece come off? I've never been able to get this off. As far as I can tell, this is designed to be airtight and not removed. If this was removable, that would compromise how tight it was sealed here and then it wouldn't have any suction. Now, how do you clean it? So what will happen is you'll suck up hair and dust and dirt and debris and this might get clogged with some hair. I have found that running it under hot water helps. You can fill up a bowl with water as well and stick that whole head attachment into the bowl of water and suck it up. You can also use a pipe cleaner to scrape around in there. I just recommend cleaning it after every single use. 
To release the head attachment, you push the button on the top, pull the head attachment off. Now I'm gonna show you the stain trapper here. Now this is the accessory that comes specifically with the Spot Clean Pet Pro. This is designed to keep any nasty spills, stains, or spots on the floor out of your hose. So this sucks up the water and it is filled in this reservoir here, which you can then remove and dump that, right? So you can imagine your animal, your pet makes a dirty mess on the ground. You don't want that in your hose because as you can see the hose is ribbed. There's lots of opportunity for stuff to get trapped and stuck in there. If anything dirty or gross gets stuck in there, it can start to stink and cause other issues. So if you can keep that from getting in the hose, that would be best and that is what this attachment is actually for so we'll get to use that here in a second so let's go ahead and put it back together here and then this piece alone the reason i got it is because this piece alone sells for 45 almost 50 dollars for just this accessory so i bought this with it initially it was only 10 dollars more than the other little green pro version so that's why i went with this model so that's an overview of how to use the machine let's go ahead and put it to work here and then also quickly here is the on off switch it is just this red power button here just a quick press to turn the machine on and off so let's go ahead and clean up a stain all right so i've got an old stain here that i'm going to work on and then i'll create a new stain and show you how the stain trapper works so let's attach the head that we're gonna use here. I'm just gonna use the traditional head here with the spray nozzle and the agitator here. First thing I'm gonna do is turn it on and then spray the spot. I have filled up my tank with hot water and then two ounces of cleaning solution here. So let's get started. So I don't know if you noticed, I wasn't shy there. I sprayed a lot. I turn off the machine now here and I start agitating. You don't have to do this, but I like to do this because I'm not ready to suck up the solution yet. I want that solution to get into the carpet and start doing its magic here. So I'm just letting it get into the fibers of the carpet, scrubbing it in. Now what I'm gonna do is turn the machine back on. I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna go back over it and scrub it. I'm gonna suck up the water. I'm gonna do that about three times total to work on this stain here. Now you noticed I did different directions with the agitator, so up and down, side to side, and then in circular motions as well. I just do that to try to get the carpet fibers at every different angle there. Now I want to suck up the excess water, so I'm just going to turn the machine on. I'm going to press down very hard and I'm going to drag very slowly across the carpet here to suck up any excess water. See it? So now let's talk about doing a fresh mess or a fresh accident. What if you had a spill, right? And you wanna clean it up using the stain trapper. So let's go ahead and move to a different section here. Also, I will let that dry in a couple hours. I'll come back and we'll take a video of that to see how well the stain came up. So let's create a new stain here. Let's move a little bit away here because I don't wanna get my two spots mixed up. So let's go ahead and get over here and I will create an accident here, and then we'll just clean it up quickly using the stain trapper. Again, press the button on the top, release. Now you can see there's hair in there. I'll go ahead and do what I told you, where I'm gonna suck it up with hot water as quickly as possible to, to get that out of there. So stain trapper, we'll go ahead and attach that on there immediately. Now let's go ahead and pretend that we had an accident here with some coffee. Let me take a sip here. Mm. All right, whoops, we spilt our coffee onto the floor. Now don't tell my wife that I did this. She wouldn't be upset that I spilled on the carpet. She'd be upset that I actually just wasted perfectly good coffee. 
So again, turn on the machine here and let's suck this up immediately. can see it trapped everything in the actual reservoir here so we're not going to have a mess I don't know if the camera got that very good but anyways as you can see it's all in the reservoir there now we can just take this off dump it and get on to business but now I'm going to address this stain here with my regular agitator here I got the majority up now let's go ahead and continue cleaning here so I don't have a bigger mess to clean later. So there we go. We'll give that some time to dry here. In the meantime, let's go ahead and clean this nozzle head and then the care that I do after every cleaning that I do with the machine here. Okay, so let me show you how I clean my machine every time. Now typically I'll do this in the sink, but today since I'm here and set up, I'm just gonna do it right here. So release your head component here. This is just a bowl of hot water here. So I'm gonna get my nozzle head in there and I'm just gonna shake it around to try to loosen up that debris that's inside of the nozzle head, okay? As much as possible. All right, and so as you can see, I should have showed you beforehand, but it's very clean now. And then finally, to clean the hose out here, just with any last debris that might have been in the hose itself, I'm just going to check my reservoir here. I got plenty of room for more water in the reservoir here. So I'm just gonna turn this on and suck up this bowl of water. And that's it. Perfect, so there we go. Now the nozzle head is very clean. My floor is clean. Now I'm just gonna wait for that to dry. Now again, simply just lift this out and then I can go dump this down the toilet and then dump out any rest of the cleaning solution that I did not use. That is how to use the Bissell Spot Clean Pro, the Bissell Green Machine Pro. Stick around to the end and I'll show you how that spot dried out in the end. If you like this video, uh, please show your support by giving it a like or a subscribe. If you like DIY around the house stuff, please check out some of my other videos. I'll see you in the next one.